In this video, we're going to look at identifying and naming primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. So a primary alcohol can also be referred to as a first degree alcohol. Here is an example of a primary alcohol. Now it's considered a primary alcohol if the carbon atom that the OH functional group is attached to, that's this over here, so this is oxygen and hydrogen attached to this particular carbon. Now, if that carbon is only attached to a single alkyl group or a single chain of carbons, um, and so here we can see that it's only attached to one chain of carbons, there's no other carbons coming off, then it's considered to be a primary or a first degree alcohol. So this particular one here, since it's got three carbons, that means that this is called propanol. And I'll show you um, in a diagram as well. So this particular one has three carbons and an OH group attached on the end. And what we're concerned about here is looking at the carbon that has that OH attached to it. So this carbon is only attached to one chain of carbons. And therefore that's how we know that it is either a first degree or primary alcohol. A secondary alcohol is also referred to a second degree alcohol. An alcohol is a secondary alcohol if the carbon atom that has the OH functional group is attached to two carbon chains or two alkyl groups. So for this particular example, the carbon that is housing our OH functional group, it's not just attached to one other carbon. So here you could say it's attached to a methyl group here but it's also attached to an ethyl group over here. Okay, so it's got carbons attached on both sides there. This is a secondary alcohol or second degree alcohol. This particular one has four carbons in its longest chain, and so therefore it would be called butanol. The position of our alcohol group, our OH functional group, is on our second carbon. So we call it butan-2-ol. And you can see in this diagram here that this is the carbon that we're concerned about because that's the one that houses our alcohol functional group and it is attached to two carbons or two alkyl groups. So here's one of those and here's the other one. So therefore it's second degree or secondary alcohol. And our third category of alcohols is our tertiary or our third degree alcohols. So an alcohol is a tertiary alcohol if the carbon holding the OH functional group is directly attached to three other carbon chains or three alkyl groups. So for this particular example, the carbon we're concerned about is this one in the middle. It's attached to this OH functional group and it is also attached to one, two, three carbons or three alkyl groups. It's attached to this methyl group, another methyl group over here, and an ethyl group here. Okay, so that's considered our third degree or our tertiary alcohol. This particular alcohol has four carbons in its longest chain, so it's going to be a butanol. It has the alcohol group on the second carbon in that chain, but it's also got this methyl group and that methyl group is also attached to that second carbon. So this particular one would be called 2-methyl-butan-2-ol. So here on our diagram, this is the carbon that's attached to our OH functional group here. You can see that that carbon is attached to one, two, three other carbons, or you could say three alkyl groups. There's a methyl group here, another methyl group here, and an ethyl group. Now just don't get confused when you're naming them if we're saying it is attached to three alkyl groups, but remember the naming comes from our longest chain. So that's why that this is 2-methyl butan 2 ol for alcohol. So this one is what we would call a third degree or tertiary alcohol.